Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. So this is uh, the DGND 1106, and I'll make a few videos today on it. And uh, it's a radio that I actually, the oldest video I have on it is October 2012. So I've had this for a while now. And you probably are wondering, wow, well, I've never seen videos maybe of it. It's because it's been a long time since I actually took it out. And the reason is, is this radio is um, um, also known, by the way, as the Grundig G3. It's the same radio. Um, this radio has, unfortunately, a few flaws that are making it not interesting to use. First of all, on telescopic, it is kind of deaf. And also, it's off frequency. To really tune correctly, you have to be a color. It's off. And that everywhere, even on single sideband, which makes it difficult to be spot on what frequency we're actually tuned to uh, when you're not used to it. Um, the other thing is the audio is very thinny. It's not great. Um, it's better in single sideband, but it's not that great. And it's actually rather low. I might sound strong here, but at the highest level, if you're in a noisy environment, you will have a hard time listening to whatever you want to listen because the level isn't strong enough. And it's sad because this radio has, you know, illuminated keypad that is beautiful. The display is beautiful with RDS on FM, but it's unfortunately a pretty bad radio for the price it was sold for, unfortunately. And this has been discontinued for a long time now. So uh, this uh, is unfortunate, but I'll have uh, a few videos just on telescopic. You guys are going to see how uh, crappy it is, actually, for our, uh, such an expensive receiver back in the day. Uh, if this would have followed the D1103 and be an upgrade and be better, this would have been a fantastic radio. But unfortunately, it, it is not. So this is Vatican Radio 9705. And I'm using the MLA 30 loop on this radio right now. Thank you. 